I'm actually excited I wasn't last because I thought I was going to be last, not going to lie. I think an IT <laughs> test is a good indicator. To hey, ladies and gentlemen, today I got another video for you today. It's a video from Jubilee. First impression, they're going to decide the IQ of the people. People are going to get offended. Maybe a little racism gangster right here. But hey, it's not that bad if it's racism and you give me the chance to adapt. So let's see how this is going to go because hey, Everybody has their experience. Give them the chance to give their point of view and don't be offended. Should we just like go down and do intros? Yeah. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Let's see. How would I rank this? So I think she's going to be two or one. That's at least what I think. The girl with the red pants is going to be like four or five. The Asian with so many colors is going to be five or six. But the other Asian might be one or two. And the girl in with a white shirt might be three or four. The white guy, I'm not sure about the white guy. He might be a two or three. I'm not sure of a one. He doesn't look like a one. But that's my opinion. Shot I am 24. I work in finance. I have a bachelor's degree. I uh, went to Yale. I'm Tyler. I'm 21. I'm a high school graduate and I work in the Marine Corps. I'm Kaylee. Um, I'm 25. I'm a software developer. I went to Ohio University and I have a bachelor's degree. Maria, I'm 30 years old. I have my PhD in cancer biology and I work in a biotech industry. Grad school, I went to University of South Carolina and undergrad, I went to University of Florida. Hi everybody, my name is Sean. I'm 27. I'm the director of social media for a company and I also work for a digital ad agency. I got a double major in dance and cultural anthropology. Undergrad, I went to Loyola Marymount University. I have no idea. I got confused with all these things that he was mentioning. Hi everybody, I'm Ray. I'm 24. I graduated with a bachelor's degree in Harvard recently and I work in consulting. Oh, my all your babies. I, so I know, that's what I'm saying is age oh. factor. That's yeah, it gives though. you like years of experience. Yeah, like this um, We need a, maybe it's good to identify what intelligence means to everybody. I think intelligence is better defined as your adaptability and your problem solving skills more than uh, it is your education. Obviously, like the education, the stuff you've been through puts a lot into playing it because it gives you more resources, more. This dude talks to like a military. He's like, oh, adaptive war, grab the great guns. I, I'm not sure what he does, but hey, he knows something from the army. The way he talks, quite stern, direct, focused, sounds intelligent. Well, education definitely helps, but I don't think it's in any way essential. So what is the most essential? So the most essential thing would probably be common sense. Yeah, so for me personally, I think intelligence is both EQ, IQ, and that common sense, street smart intelligence, all of that combined. People consciously or unconsciously, when they see someone, form an opinion immediately. Like, I'm sure we all did right away. When I saw you, I told myself, Maria, do not judge him just yeah. by his looks. He could be throwing you off, or that's just who he is, but he can talk the talk and walk the walk. Sean, I didn't want to judge him based on the way he looks or dresses or acts, so I was like, I think he's intelligent. First impressions, I would put him at the bottom only because when I was in school, all the other people with like the bright neon colors and stuff, they were typically the ones doing worse in classes. That's what I thought, but hey, he proved me wrong. Guess I learned something new. If we're ranking confidence, I'd definitely put Sean at very first place. So what is the definition that we're going yeah. with is the biggest question. I like your definition. I know, I was gonna say, I like my <laughs> definition. <laughs> yeah. It combines everything. Does anyone have any like initial... You can be honest. <laughs> Not on that side. Okay. <laughs> I'm done going first. <laughs> This is gonna get hot. I feel like I have a good combination of both, like book smart and street smart. So yeah, I think I have some input on that. There's so many aspects to intelligence. It really goes beyond IQ and EQ. Even those two different factors really don't really capture what it really means to be intelligent. I know I'm not, you know, from Yale, I don't have a PhD, but what I lack in those areas, I'm able to still problem solve and use my own skill set, my emotional intelligence as well as my social intelligence. Besides my education and background. I feel like I have high like emotional intelligence, like I'm aware of my surroundings. As a software developer, my problem solving skills are obviously top notch, I think I would say. My whole life I've kind of had to fight to be seen as intelligent. I think I'm so used to having to do that as a woman to just like step up and be like, you know, I deserve to be here. I misjudge her too, but that's what people do. I think it's more important that even if you judge a person what you might expect them because that type of person has given you a specific result, I think you still need to give them the opportunity. 
job out of college, I was working at a law firm, a gentleman came up to me and said, hi, um, you don't look like somebody that would work at a law firm. You look like somebody I'd go on spring break with. And I'm like, what? I'm like, I would never do that. <clears throat> Obviously, out of everyone here, I've got the least formal education. I consider myself intelligent. My mental dedication and my ability to adapt and to problem solve. What I do in the Marine Corps, I'm a seabird defense specialist. So I think that by virtue of what I do, that already requires some amount of intelligence. Sorry, quick question. So do you think that only certain people can do your job or do you think anyone can do your job? Only certain people. Uh, you have to take the ASVAB before you go into the military. That's uh, not really how much you know, but how well you can learn information. And I got a 94 on that. It's not an amount of how much you study, how much you know. You're not gonna really get better at learning. Does that make sense? Mm. I strongly disagree with you don't get better at learning. The idea that you can get better at learning is a pretty big signifier of intelligence. I'm very much dyslexic. I have ADHD and I'm on the autism spectrum. Dyslexia means that there's a big gap in comprehension. So I was scoring 99th percentile in certain areas and like third percentile in others. I'll never be able to learn another language. I took Spanish for 12 years and I can still basically only order a burrito. So I have a question. Why did you go to Yale and why did you go to Harvard? My parents are immigrants from China and I'm a first generation immigrant as well and college student as well. My family always really stressed the importance of formal education. For me, that was something that I really strive for. I wasn't planning to go to college. I didn't, that wasn't like a goal of mine. My parents were like, well, you should apply to at least one college. And I was like, I'll never get in here. And then I went to Yale. Why don't you guys rank each other from one to six, including yourself? and give reasons why you want to do what you're doing. You gotta go one. No. Oh yeah. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh wait, they're ranking when they know the information. Oh, I started wrong. If I have to rank that, I actually agree with her. One, yes, because two, yeah. The, the, the thing that the girl in red pants does is gangster, 100%. Coding, I'm not sure, but then again, it depends the type of coding. Social media, um, I don't think it's intelligent work. It's just, um, well, there is a certain type of intelligence because you still have to connect people. But it's easier to learn. Let's just say that is a very good point. And that military thing, I'm not sure, man. I would rank you as a six, not meaning that you're not intelligent. I also think that I don't place a lot of value on the military. Mm. <laughs> Period. Well, guess, hey, if you're safe in the country and you don't put value, I mean, there's something that kind of do. We have to appreciate the people that protect us and do something about it because there are some crazy people out there. <laughs> no, that, yeah, full stop, full stop. <laughs> I'd probably do one, Two, three, four, five, six. I'm sorry. I'm the villain this episode. Ooh. Does anyone think they're like either end of the spectrum? I'd say I'm one, if nothing else, because I know what I'm about and I'm sure of that. Damn, that's, that's a very good point. Like, he's like, hey man, I know my intelligence. This is my truth. Okay, well, let's see. I want to hear his opinion. Wait, you guys have to rank everyone too. That is so unfair. <laughs> no, 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 no. I would say one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I think one, two, yeah, it, three, yeah. four, five, six. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why? It's hard for me to look past the education part. Going to college, I think you learn a lot, if nothing else, emotionally. But I still think you're smart. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, immigrant parents, first generation going to college, humble, mm. modest. Two, me, I don't know, PhD, <laughs> cancer oh, biology oh. scientist. Oh, I work girl. in a biotech company. We make COVID-19 testing kits, oh, stuff like that. Oh. And then six, it has nothing to do with your background. I don't think you really have the highest EQ out of all of us. Tyler, he ranked last for me personally because the way he carries himself, he was ranking intelligence based on his point of view and not taking in other people's point of views and compiling results, but really just came down to his body language, his demeanor, the way he carried himself, the way he acted towards the group. I would put one, two, three, four, five, and out six. Okay. That caught me off guard.
Well, the reason why I put you at number one is I think you have the highest, not only EQ score out of everybody, but the way you present yourself, as well as being a PhD student, I think is just like a huge thing. And then I put myself six because I feel like I might be the weakest in terms of actual IQ score. Hopefully I can make it up in everything else. So I did put myself as least intelligent. However, if it can't be me, I definitely think Tyler, unfortunately, his way of thinking is linear. And I think intelligence is almost like a sphere. It's a picture. And right now he's only coloring with one color than, you know, with the rainbow. So who got the most number ones? Thank you. Look down. <laughs> who got the most? <laughs> Shawnee was pretty up there too. I feel like you were definitely three, right? Yeah. I mean, between you Harvard and Yale. Yep. I think that I sort of expected to be ranked a little bit lower. At first glance and first interaction with me, it's hard to tell how intelligent I am. It's hard to tell how intelligent anybody is. Is anyone upset with where they're standing? And well, officially, it doesn't need to matter. Especially for him because he said hey, it's my truth. So I can see myself as a number one. So hey, life is Gucci. But it's your truth, man. Own up. And if people have a different opinion, hey, just do your thing. Because their opinion should not affect how good you feel about yourself. Guy graduated from high school and then joined the military. He probably wouldn't be like high up on there. If I was in their shoes, I definitely would have also ranked myself among the lowest. I do feel like mm. there might be a prejudice acting in terms of ranking you okay, I was thinking that highly, oh. <laughs> but I, I agree with the ranking. I think you probably are the most intelligent out of all of us. I would feel weird placing you there and not acknowledging the dynamics in which we did so. Okay, so now they're going to take the IQ test. Yes! Let's see how it's going to roll. Hearing that to take an IQ test was definitely hard to hear. Quantifying things for me in that realm is really hard because it gives you something really solid. Even if you don't buy into IQ tests, it still gives you a number at the end of the day, which is something you have to grapple with. I literally thought when you said to open the computer or we're gonna look at social media, that I didn't think an IQ test would be part of it. Ooh. It was kind of expected. We're being okay. This is uh, wait, did he say it's kind of expected? Oh, my man, adapting, he intelligent <laughs> ranked by intelligence. You know, an IQ test, it's not that far off the realm of possibility. So, number one is Raymond, number two would be Kaylee, number three will be Tyler, and number four would be Shada, number five is Sean, and number six is Maria. Damn! So the Asian dude, I expected. Blonde lady, you the lady. I should never have judged you ever. Mr. Military, hey man, I had big hopes. I never expected the lady, but then again, because of autism, certain tests can be quite hard because some tests are usually meant for people that can read or do specific correctly, right? So if she's dyslexic, it can affect her score. I have a brother that has that issue and they actually have to give her more time sometimes because it can make him look as if he doesn't understand specific stuff, but he just needs a little extra time. So that can affect the IQ test. The Asian dude, um, I find it funny. Uh, <laughs> he has a smart, hmm, I'm in the same space. So not, they, not only did they judge me correctly, but I am in the same position. But the biologist lady, damn, you're working with Corona and you're the lead. Well, officially, that doesn't even matter. But still, I did not expect those tests. Then again, maybe it's because of the age. It's not a quick thinker. I don't know, because I think the IQ test also depends on how quickly you do it. There's many stuff. Intelligence does change with time in certain way. I, that's what I believe. Judge me on that in the comments. Mm, wow. I think an IQ test tests something. I don't think it's intelligence. It's definitely testing something. IQ tests are now known to be flawed and like based on incorrect sample sizes. I have really severe dyslexia. There's two Told questions you. on that test that I automatically basically can't answer. I'm sure if you studied for an IQ test, you would do a lot better. Yeah. 
IQ tests are just one aspect or one way to measure intelligence. It's really on a spectrum what constitutes somebody as intelligent. Before this, all I knew about IQ tests is that they existed and the I stands for intelligence. I've never looked into IQ tests before. Coming here today, them saying the EQ, that was the first time I've ever heard that term in my life. Coming back to intelligence, it's not just your IQ, it's your EQ, it's your common sense, it's street smarts. Sure. Yeah, she knows at least what she's talking about. So even if I would say that his, uh, her IQ test was low, her answer makes me still realize why she still has the job because she has a whole package. She has to take a lot of things in consideration and she's also the person with, which has, is actually the oldest of all everybody around there. So kudos to her. I really like this. I like this interesting test. It's always eye-opening. I like to prove myself wrong. I feel more intelligent because it's like, hey, I learned something new. Or it is some type of metric similar to an SAT and ACT score is a metric for getting into college, but there's more to that person than that <clears> test. I'm actually excited I wasn't last because I thought I was going to be last, not going to lie. I think an IQ <laughs> test is a good indicator to see how people handle pressure, but I think that's easier to make sense in our heads that, oh, you're smart and you're not smart. Definitely don't think it's the best metric. I've been exposed to tests like these probably more than most people here. That already gives me an unfair advantage. This is my villain redemption arc and climbing <laughs> yeah, up the ladder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do agree with the girl that's blonde, which I believe was a software developer or something. Um, by her appearance in this whole situation, I can see why it can be quite annoying for her that she has to prove herself over and over. I mean, if I would see her in a specific job that I know might be coding because I know friends that code, I would be skeptical because I'm not used to seeing that. But I don't think I would be like, hey, you're I don't see girls like you. I would never say that. I would just say, hey, what's your background? How did you get it? Just be interested. Talk about it beautifully. But it's not like back in the day. I mean, the doors are open for everybody these days. So when you're from a specific generation, it should not surprise you. But then again, if you see people in that generation, they're still doubtful of their own generation, then I'm like, dude, what's wrong with you? I mean, some girls are quite intelligent in the right package or not. You should give them the attempt and don't judge them. Because then they're going to believe I judge them. Don't make my life hard, bruh. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed it. I learned something new. And leave the comments. Like it. Let me know what you liked about it. Share it. And send video to my Discord. If you want me to review something or a news article. I'm always down, people. I'm always down. Don't get me wrong. My cosa quita bon. Put a fire na mi plon. Kush hash purple skunk. Criollo colombici jam jam. Turlo que ta verde ta welcome.